good afternoon and welcome to Pacific Opera Project's live stream of Mozart's The Magic Flute, which thanks to the imagination of Josh Shaw and Scott Levine has been leveled up to super flute. Yes, indeed, we are taking one of the most beloved operas of all time and moving it to the world of Nintendo. All of your favorite characters will be there. In fact, I invite you to sit down and make a list of who exactly you are seeing throughout the production. Our main character is Tamino Linkman, and he is about to set off on an epic adventure to find his true love and do battle against the forces of evil. Now, along the way, he is going to be joined by such characters as, of course, Mario, a trio of Gerudos, some Toads, plenty of banana jokes, and a six foot 10 Donkey Kong. Yes, indeed. I'm Jennifer Miller Hamill. I am the host of Pop's in-house podcast called Poppercast. I invite you to go grab a soda, grab some pizza, turn on that console, take the warp zone to level 8-1, and dive into the adventure. This is Super Flute. Super Flute. It has been an amazing run with amazing audiences, although I know this is the best one, right? Saturday matinee? I mean, I don't know who does that, but we're doing it and it's sold out. So it's great. Uh, thank you for being here. Thank you for everyone tuning in. This, this uh, production is being streamed absolutely live today, so cheer extra loud for that. Uh, if you're watching at home, thanks for tuning in. We'll be on the chat, talk to us, share with everyone you know. You are welcome to take pictures and video today, but please do silence your phones at this time so they're not going off. Tag us, post everywhere. We want to be everywhere. Um, we do have one performance tomorrow, but it is completely sold out. Don't let that stop you from telling people about this show. Uh, <laughs> Uh, we have two more productions this year. Um, if you follow Pacific Opera Project, you know, and some of you here are responsible for making it happen, that we just got our first home office venue rehearsal space ever. Thank you very much. And our first production uh, event there will be Papaganza, which is our annual fundraiser. That will be April 26th. There's only 100 seats available for that this year. And it's a full dinner and pop artists and fun and uh, we're just making, we're just going to love being in our own space, finally after 12 years. Uh, tickets are available for that right now. And then we close the season with a big production of the Pirates of Pinsent. Uh, that will be up at Forest Lawn Glendale Outdoors. That's table seating as well as regular seating. And every table comes with a bottle of wine. You can bring your picnic. It's going to be a great time. That's the last two weekends of May. Uh, so tickets are also on sale for that, and Saturdays are already sold out, although I added a few seats last night. Um, uh, beyond that, uh, we will have one intermission. We'll get, it, get you out of here before 6 o'clock tonight. Uh, restrooms and the bar are behind you right back there. With that, thank you so much for being here. Enjoy Super Flu. <laughs>
saints that day, the hero of our little play, I'm always in a happy mood. These coins I find to trade for food. The moment they attract my eye, I jump and pluck them from the sky. I am a plumber, that is true, but I have a lot of other talents too. And break up bricks. I have five holes and other tricks. I jump around from land to land, from trees to clouds to sea and sand. But there's one thing missing from my life. I'd like to find a pretty wife. In all my travels I've never found a girl who matches me pound for pound. <laughs> Once the perfect lady is my mate, we'll get a little place upstate where mushrooms grow so wild and free. We'll have our feel of fresh fun. Sit and play games all day long, and when we're bored, we'd hit the <laughs> We'd be happy as a pair could be, and I'd treat her like she's royalty. singing about it for the last three verses. <laughs> it's a me, Papageno. <laughs> Papageno, the coin collector of a great fame. Come on, don't tell me you've never heard of Papageno. I've I never don't... heard of you. Would it help if I... Put that down. It's okay. Put that down. Would it help if I said my first name was... The plumber! Everyone knows who you are. Why didn't you just say your name was Mike? No, 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 no. We can't say that for the next two hours. Are you in the mob or something? The mob? Jeez, you meet an Italian-American and immediately it's mob this and wise guy that. No, not the mob. Though I do hang out with a lot of goombas. <laughs> this group is way worse. Copyright lawyers. Oh. <laughs> right, well, Papageno. I'm Tamino Linkman. Prince Tamino Linkman, that is. Pleased to meet you. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. <laughs> now, where are we? I'm definitely not in Hyrule anymore. Hyrule? That's not at the end of any pipe I've ever been through. Are there coins and mushrooms there? There aren't any coins and there definitely aren't any mushrooms, but uh, we do have rupees that we can find in treasure chests or uh, pots or uh, by cutting grass ah! or by personal <laughs> breaking rocks. And if you get Ooh, my... breaking name, rocks! Now we're talking! Yeah. Can you take me there? Perhaps. But first tell me, what is this place? Oh, this is the Mushroom Kingdom. The Mushroom Kingdom? Mm -hmm. That's certainly a strange name for a place. You think so, eh? Watch this. Whoa! Oh! Hey. You eat that? Right. I eat mushrooms. I live in a mushroom. I have mushroom friends. They're real fun guys. <laughs> That one never gets old. Oh, whoa! Watch out, watch out. One shot. 
four years and I still got it. So this is the Mushroom Kingdom. I don't know what it's like in Hyrule, but... Uh, Koopas and Goombas! This place is nuts! So tell me, do you have any levers? Um, no. Well, what about a Moldorm? No. Keese? Like like Slan Molas? No, no, no. What about Gibdos and Dark Nuts? No, no, hold on, Bob! This is a family show! <laughs> Don't tell me you came here looking for a little uh, Prince and Princess multiplayer action. I like multiplayer. A little up, up, down, down, B, A, B, A, 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 I don't even know why I'm here. I'm supposed to be on a quest. Now tell me, who's in charge here? Well, that's not so clear at the moment. It used to be Bowser and the Koopa Troopers, but uh, ever since the Queen of the Night has arrived, things are crazy, I'm gonna tell you. The Queen of the Night? Have you ever seen her? Seen her? No. No one has ever seen the Queen. Well, what about this Bowser fellow? Where might I find him? No, no, no. You won't see no Bowsers unless you go into the dungeons. But don't you worry, I'm gonna know how to defeat them. You do? Mm -hmm. So. It was you who rescued me from that creature! What creature? What? The one right here! He was throwing the hammers and I had my shield! It was you! Yes! <laughs> With brute force and unstoppable courage! Oh. And you're welcome! Oh, thank you! How could I ever repay you? Well, maybe if you have a coin or a mushroom. Well, I don't have a coin. Oh, shiitake! Whoa! <laughs> Queen's ladies are Gerudos. They're here to collect my coins. Ladies, I'm sorry, I didn't know. This will teach you to lie to strangers, Papageno. Did you kill that Koopa, Papageno? Mm -hmm. oh. mm -mm. And who did, Papageno? That's right, Papageno. We saved you, and we bring a message from our Queen. Take a close look at this portrait of the Queen's daughter, Zelda—I mean, Pamina. <laughs> and if it pleases you, then power, wisdom, and courage will be yours. Look, see, behold, Princess Pamina. <laughs> Princess fair, with long and flowing golden hair, I feel so, I feel so, is this goddess real, my heart? When we meet, I will hold her. 
written in your heart. The queen knows you are worthy. The queen has chosen you, Tamino, to love Pamina, to protect Pamina, to care for Pamina, to rescue Pamina. Rescue her? Rescue her from what? An a monkey! A gorilla! Zorastro Kong! Shh! Quiet! Listen! Look! The Queen comes!
Amina, even if it takes all three of my hearts. <laughs> Be calm and still and let me fix it. It seems your lips this lock has sealed. <laughs> it's on the good I can't undo it, no matter what it will not heal. The lock is jammed, it will not open. What if I hit it with my shield? <laughs> Please let me help. Lock is stuck, it seems to me you're out of luck. The Queen forgives you graciously from bondage to mercy free. I've learned my lesson, no more lying. Be careful, no more falsely lying. No lying, that's the truth, I swear. It's not going to be worse. No lying, that's the truth, I swear. We will be watching you. Do not fear, we saved our progress. Don't be alarmed, don't be distraught. If kids or crazy Kubas kill us, we could return right to this spot. If kids or crazy Kubas kill us, we could return right to this spot. Fight another day. That Sarastro is an ape. I'm afraid that he would find me, hit me, buy me, spit me, grind me, trip me, fry me, beat me, eat me in a big banana crate. The prince will you her I wish I never would have come here. My life is far too dear. Don't want to die until I'm ready. Let me live one more year. Well, well, whatever does it do? The star will give you special powers. But will it last for two more hours? No, it will not. No, it will not. When you use it, don't abuse it. Save it for your darkest hours. Need. 
retort source from this realm will guide us and on our journey stay beside us rely on them oh. who will heed the answers that you need rely on them go where they lead they have the answers that we need so they Yeah. 
get a... Ah, oh, I had to check this again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, here we go. Yes. Ha! Red lips. Yes. Blonde hair. Yes. Purple bodies. Yes. Oh, no, 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 no. According to this photo, you have no hands or feet, so this couldn't possibly be you. Where did you get this? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Try me. Well, I was out collecting coins this morning, and this elf boy comes out of nowhere talking about high rule and rupees and whatnot, and before I know it, your mother's minions show up, and they give him your portrait, and well, well, you know the rest. No, I don't. <laughs> Well, he fell hard, and he vowed to come rescue you no matter how many lives it took. Oh, where is he? Well, he went right and I went left, because, well, well, well that's just the way I go. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like I guessed right, or, or, or left. You know what I mean. Wait, he fell in love with me after only seeing a picture? That's ridiculous. No, 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 it can happen. Happened to me once. She had blonde hair, blue eyes, an hourglass figure, and she was wearing a, a frilly pink dress with short puffy sleeves. I never had the courage to talk to her, and before I knew it, she was gone. That was years ago, and I haven't seen her since. So you have no wife? Not even a girlfriend. <laughs> Don't worry. You seem like a nice guy. And I'm sure you're in high demand. After all, everyone needs a plumber. <laughs> to hug and squeeze me and feed me mushrooms all day long. The joys of love I've never known. I'd give three lives to
Romina will be mine. To answer this, we're not alone with power, wisdom, and with courage. Be silent now, and you will see that you can raise a castle drum. Trials, I hope I'm ready. I've got my shield, my sword is steady. Whatever comes, I won't turn back. When turtles charge, I will attack. Mysterious portals, no old men to guide me. I never imagined a place quite this dreadful. Domino is coming. I will break down each door. There's bosses to beat and there's worlds to explore. Without hesitation, I'll fight my way through. My mission is honest and noble and true. I will not shrink. Amina needs me. Amina needs me. She needs Link. <laughs> oh no. What if I am too late? When will I see my darling princess? said to me, mysterious voices answer me, does my Camina live? could show you some gratitude for what I owe you, to pay you back for all the help you give me. I know, I know, I'll play. Oh, my God. 
can't explain Overcome with joy that I can't <laughs> But my Parmina My Parmina does not come My Parmina does not come to have done the trick. Perhaps I'll find her up this vine. At last, Pamina will be mine. At last, at last, I'll find my darling
times would be less cheesy. What noise are they making? I'm trembling, I'm shaking. I wish I knew a code to skip right past this level Or must I face this devil in single-player mode? What now? What can we do to please him?
This prince must kneel in supplication. There's no excuse, no explanation. Can you believe they dared attempt with foolish pride and false contempt to take the mina from your harem? But I appeared in time to scare him. I told you, I'm a god of it. My man is bursting <laughs> your chagrin. It's your reward I give to you. Oh, how can I with her or two? How can I beat you till you're black and blue? But, sir, I'll never break the rules again. I swear you're never gonna win. All you need to start a strong road. So we have breached intermission on this afternoon's live stream of Super Flute. Uh, I think what may become Pop's new signature show? <laughs> maybe, maybe, I don't know. It's, uh, it's hard to compete with this. Well, if you don't know this incredible gentleman, you should. This is artistic director of all things amazing, Josh Shaw, who is, <laughs> who is Pacific Opera Project and also one of the creators of this incredible show that you are enjoying this afternoon. Um, Back when we uh, we did a Twitch stream with Scott a mm -hmm. few weeks ago, Scott Levine, who was singing uh, Papageno slash Mario, um, and I know that this was a show. Go ahead and come on through. Yeah, you're fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> um, and he was telling me about how the two of you created this show, um, not for Pop though. It was actually right. for another company. So right, what's right. the history of the? So it was 2018, or I guess 2017, really, when we started, and uh, we were. Supposed to do a magic flute at Southern Illinois Music Festival, where uh, both of us have worked for many years. Mm -hmm. And the artistic director, that's also where uh, our abduction, Star Trek abduction right. show started and a few others. That's been a great place to kind of try things out before we bring them here. Uh, and the artistic director there really wanted a Harry Potter magic flute. And I said, no, I just said flat out no, which I don't say very often. <laughs> uh, but, you know, I really didn't think it would work. Well, if you've seen the previews for the new Magic Flute, it's kind of Harry Potter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so maybe it does work. Um, Come on. But, uh, <laughs> so then we went to work trying to, you know, we're not going to do Magic Flute in German. It's just too much. Right. Uh, and uh, so we went to work trying to think of what, what we could possibly do. And, you know, after, it, was, it was not easy. It didn't just come to us. And then we spent... 
a lot of time talking about it and you know, depends who you ask. But really we came up with the idea kind of exact same time. I can remember the exact moment in Facebook message where he messaged me and he said, how about uh, video games? And I said, you're not gonna believe me. You're never gonna believe me. But I just was thinking Facebook. I was driving to Opera Santa Barbara uh, to direct the show, I remember it clearly. Uh, so then we set, set into it and it was, once we got the idea, it was easy. Like uh, it really fell into place and I think it works you know, as well as any concept I've ever done. And it was always very much like Papageno was going to be Mario, Tomino was going to be Link. Yeah, those yeah. two were pretty easy because, you know, Papageno's a collector right. and uh, he's finding his peach, you know, and, and uh, Prince and Princess for Zelda and, right. and Link. Uh, uh, that was pretty easy. The only one we struggled with, because I wasn't as familiar with uh, the Zelda franchise, was um, the Queen of the Night. But that, that ended up working perfectly, too. Yeah, and... She's awesome, right? Yeah. Um, so I wanted to ask you about your suits because this is one of this is one of the things that here at Pacific Opera Project we always look forward to to see what Josh is going to wear uh, for each production. I know you try to. I know for Lucia you had a blood splattered suit. Yeah, that's which still was, my favorite. Yeah, still was, my favorite suit. Pretty fantastic. Um, what did you wear for Sweeney Todd? Did it have meat on it, or was it? <laughs> <laughs> that that was pre-suit times. Oh, okay. Like, so uh, <laughs> this suit nonsense started. I think it kind of started around Carmen in 2014, okay. where I got this shiny red suit and people liked it so much. Then, then it became this thing that is a monster mm -hmm. now. So, uh, so how did this happen? So this, uh, if anybody watched in 2019, I had this suit. I really liked it. It was a Pac-Man um, suit, and it's it looks you know it looks a little tame compared to this. But yeah. Come on through. Come on through, sir. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you know I just thought I better one-up myself this time and honestly when I bought this I thought oh my god this is gonna be way too much but if you're far enough away this actually looks pretty cool I think. I, it, when you get close it's a lot I it's, don't know it's a I, lot. I kind of like it up close I'm just saying <laughs> so now that we now that you've done this one show in the world of Nintendo are there any thoughts to perhaps doing another production maybe set Sega Genesis properties, <laughs> Final Fantasy, um, any thoughts about... Well, I always that? send your recommendations. I'm always looking for the next super flute or the next abduction. And uh, right now I'm kind of, kind of at a loss for both a classic opera I really want to do uh -huh. that we haven't done and like what's the thing that people know the best, you know, in the world right now. Right. Um, what, what's as popular as uh, Super Mario Brothers and Star Trek, you know. The Last of Us. The Last of Us, <laughs> right now, but I mean, these things have 40-year histories. That's, that's true. That's like really one year of history. That's I just true. finished it that's yesterday. Um, yeah, but zombies are way up there. Yeah. Zombies are way up there. Superheroes are way up there. I'd like sure. to find one that kind of can spoof our DC or Marvel or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Which should be easy, you know. They're all about gods and, and all this stuff already, right. so... Back to, the, back to the workshop after this. <laughs> well, Josh, thanks so much for taking a Thank few minutes. Thank you. Thanks for doing this. And and thanks for watching. Absolutely. Thank you. Well, we have reached intermission time on this afternoon's matinee of Super Flute. And I am thrilled to be joined by Bill Grenler, who is our own Monocytos, a.k.a. Wario. <laughs> it's been so great to watch you running around on stage and just acting a fool and loving every single moment <laughs> of it. I know you are because it oh, looks absolutely. like you're absolutely enjoying it. So th is this your first time singing this role? It is. And, it and, is. And I'm talking about in any version, not just as In any it. version, absolutely. This okay. is my first Monocytos. So how is this sort of setting the stage for any production you're going to do, like, farther down the road, where you're not going to be Wario, but... It's a very good question. You know, I think the parallels in this show are so much fun because it does plug in so well. So a lot of this mischievous, evil you know, Maleficent kind of energy being brought by Monocytos works well with Wario, so I think that lives on. Right, know? yeah. Yeah, come on through. We're just doing some intermission interviews. You're totally fine. Okay. Totally fine. Yeah, come on in. Come on through. <laughs> so, um, and you have such great moments with, uh, with Ashley, who's singing the role of Pamina. Um, how did you guys get along in like, the rehearsal process and figuring out like the business that you were going to do physically? Like, What was that process like? Well, she's great. She's yeah. a very generous performer and um, just a natural comedian in thinking on her feet. So, you know, feeding off of the energy that she's giving up there um, and the energy that Scott gives, it's, 
it's easy. You know, it's right. easy to with what they're giving you. You know, so totally. it's a pleasure. So because this is of course set in the world of like '80s, '90s video games, were you a gamer growing up? Were you a gamer? I as a kid? was. I grew up in the 90s and my older brother was a child of the 80s so he kind of mentored me through Mario and watching him and you know entering in at kind of that Super Smash Brothers Yay, level big that was yeah. that was kind of my introduction to all this and retroactively went back and mm -hmm. played a lot of those earlier games with him so that was great so if you were to pick a video game character to be in an opera uh, was Wario the character you <laughs> wanted to be or do you have someone else in mind that you would have really loved to be? you know honestly I, I think it is Wario is maybe that abandoned character that I neglected in my video game experiences, but when I'm trying to approach it from something, someone who's really interesting just because of how disgusting yet charismatic they are, it's it's a great character to play. So this mustache situation you have going on right this now. This is natural. Is this something you're going to take into your daily life now? I forward? think everything about this ensemble is is who I am and how. Right. Yeah. The, the, the Raleigh fingers, the scissor hand mustache, and the overalls, this is this is what I'm about. Okay, now. yeah, the yellow and the, and the purple. It's very nice. Absolutely, so absolutely. Right. I am a Bulls fan, though, not a Lakers fan. No offense to anybody out oh. there. So this is a little hard for me. <laughs> you've heard it here first. Well, Bill, thank you so much. I know you've got to like take a break before you've got stuff coming up in the second half, but thanks so much for your time, and we can't wait. Well, thank you. Always yeah. a pleasure. Yeah, thanks. Well, as you were walking around the corner, Ashley, I started going, dun, 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 dun. <laughs> because yes, this is our own Princess Pamina. You also may know her as Zelda, Ashley Fabian. It's so great to meet you. I don't think we've actually met before. Yeah, this is the first time. So it's is, a this, is this the first time you've worked with Pop? This is the first show that I've done with Pop. So how has this experience been for you? Because oh, I'm sure it's been <laughs> very much out of the box, right? It's very out of the box. It's the most rewarding experience I've had yeah. uh, singing opera. The audiences here are so grateful for the experience. Mm -hmm. A lot of newcomers to opera, yeah. and that's been really rewarding for me. Totally. Is this your first Pamina? It's my first Pamina. Oh my gosh. Yes. Okay, so like we were talking to, to Bill, he was saying this was his first Monositos, and I was like, well, is this going to just sort of like set an expectation of how this role is going to be for you, <laughs> like going forward anytime you do it? I think it'll be hard to top this one for sure. Yeah, right? You're <laughs> yes. just gonna be like, no, I have to do Pamina with the ears and with the crown and... <laughs> Absolutely. Well, these are my real ears. This is oh, why I got what? The... <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> That's why I got cast. <laughs> so because this show does take place in the world of 80s, 90s video games, like a lot of the pop culture touchstones that we all grew up with. Um, were you a gamer growing up? Did you I was halfway a gamer growing up. I got okay. more into it as an adult, actually. Okay. Yes. So, like, what's your favorite? What's your I'm favorite franchise? I'm actually really great at Mortal Kombat. What? <laughs> like, really? What? Great. It's okay. one of my favorite things to like beat everybody in Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat. But okay. I do love Nintendo as well. Yeah. I had a Switch for a little bit there, and I love playing. Smash and okay. you know those Mario Kart things like that. Well, if you happen to stumble across Pop's Twitch stream, um, don't judge my Smash Brothers playing <laughs> skills because I was really terrible at it. Who's your character? Um, I played Pikachu most oh, of nice. the time in that, but uh, Arnold and Scott were definitely owning me uh, most <laughs> of the time during that stream. Um, so, so if you could pick a video game character to be, and I have a feeling it might be from Mortal Kombat, but say if you were to, if you were to mm. sing Kamina, but you were to make her be someone else, oh, who would that be? Wouldn't it be funny if it were Luigi? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Mario and Luigi as brothers, like singing the little duet about That would Man be a White. whole different kind of It would of be a different, that... yeah, a different relationship for yeah. sure. <laughs> um, what, what has been some of your favorite moments in the show? Well, definitely um, the music itself is just amazing yeah. and getting to work with this cast has been really awesome. I think that this cast has been um, really fun and like they're all really, they perform well on their feet. Yeah. So when we have things that happen during the show that may not be yeah. exciting, mm -hmm. <laughs> when we have things you know happen in the show that may not be um, exactly according to plan. Right. Everyone works really well and improvs oh, totally. very well. So we work well together as a cast. That's been really, really fun for me. Awesome. Well, I'm going to let you take a few minutes to rest before things get back on stage, but it was so great to meet you. It was great to meet you And too. I love this. Oh, I'm just like, I'm in total envy of your costume, but yeah. But take care. Thank you, Ashley. I appreciate thank it. Thank you so much. Yeah. Well, I was a little starstruck when you came around the corner just now because I was like, oh my gosh, it's Toad. <laughs> no, but I am joined by Nico Murakami, who is the first spirit in uh, this afternoon 
afternoon's production of Super Flute. Nico, thank you so much for taking a couple of minutes to chat with us during the intermission. Oh, absolutely. So um, is this the first time that you've sung for Spirit? Um, no, actually, um, a few years ago, I did um, the first Spirit in a pr production at Miami Music Festival. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. So how did that compare with now being Toad <laughs> in this production of Super it Flute? Yeah, it is a bit of a difference because of the character, mm -hmm. and um, it's, yeah, uh, you're not singing in German, you're, no. you're singing in English, yeah, <laughs> but it's, yeah, but it's a, it's a joy to be towed in the show. <laughs> what has been one of your favorite things about doing this production? Because you have some really cute character moments in the production, but what, what has been your favorite thing? I think for me personally, it's um, being able to ride around on a scooter on stage and yeah, being able to be with my um, other toads. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, yeah, we're being um, reminders of to Tomino and Papageno and Pamina to be courageous and uh, smart yeah. and yeah to, yeah, to guide them through. And then you're just getting to be these just wonderful, adorable characters yes. at the same time that people love. And I have to go ahead and come on through. You're totally fine. Yeah. <laughs> we're just doing some guerrilla style interviews. Um, if, no pun intended, Donkey Kong. Oh, anyway. <laughs> Um, yeah, sort of, okay, yeah, maybe pun intended. Um, I have to let you know, my, my husband is a big fan of Toad, and oh so goodness. every time we play Mario Kart, he has to play as Toad, so he's, <laughs> yeah, so I just be like, honey, I met Toad today, it's great. Oh, it's wonderful. Um, so were you a gamer growing up? Um, no, but I had a couple of friends, um, when I, when I was growing up, I knew a couple of um, kids um, in the neighborhood who um, loved playing video games yeah. at the time, and I would just uh, watch them play. And so it brings back a lot of memories when I'm in this show. Sure. So it's, it's wonderful. So Toad, the character, has a very specific voice. Um, and I don't know if you've ever seen or, or heard Toad do his famous scream. Um, oh. <laughs> do, do you have an impersonation of the Toad scream? That you well, I've never had to scream, but okay. I'm, I'm, I, and I don't want you to hurt your voice, but <laughs> well, hello, my name's Toad. <laughs> That's the best thing I can do. <laughs> I love it. Well, Nico, thank you so much for taking a couple of minutes to chat with us. And again, I just I'm loving Maggie's costume on you. You look great. It so. was my pleasure. Thank you so much for having thank me. Thank you. Well, during intermission, I was so happy to grab a few minutes here with Michelle Drever, who is singing "The Queen of the Night," A.K.A. Ganondorf. A female Ganondorf, I believe, is the official title. Mm -hmm. But it's so lovely to be able to see you up close with this incredible green makeup yes, that you have going on. Yes, yes. So what is this process like for you to have to put this on uh, for every single performance? Um, messy. <laughs> and I've gone through many uh, stages of trial and error. You know, at first it was staining my fingers, and then I was washing my hands every time. And now I'm just using some old-fashioned rubber gloves each time. <laughs> Wet a sponge, put it in the makeup, dab, dab, dab. And I'm, you know, channeling all Elphaba all Bruce Banner, all the time. I know, you were walking around, you came around the corner and I was just like, Define Grant. Oh yes, there are we go. sure we're doing the right show? I know, right? I'm not sure, <laughs> I'm not sure. Come on through. Um, <laughs> but yes, yeah, so you, um, you of course have a very big moment, perhaps the most iconic moment from this show. No coming pressure. Up, coming up in the second half. Yes. Um, and of course, we heard you sing this role the first time around, mm -hmm. so you're back with us, which is fantastic. Mm -hmm. And I remember, because I, I saw the show back in 2019, and I was like, wow, she is in that fantastic costume and all that makeup, and she is singing those notes. So, well, thank you. Um, so how do you get ready for, for that kind of, like, where are you right now, mind space, as you're getting ready for that? I'm, I can't quite relax. The job is only half done. It's literally two arias and a bit of a, um, a, a, an ensemble work at the end. So it's really just keeping calm. You know, keeping collected, uh, personally me, hydrating a lot. I do a quick steam in my mm -hmm. dressing room, keep the talking to a minimum, you know, um, warm up a little bit too much in the bathroom, but not too much because you can't sing those high Fs all day because no. uh, you'll get tired very fast. So just basically just getting in the zone, focusing, girding one's loins for perhaps the most famous aria ever written. I know, mm -hmm. I know. It's one of those that anytime they're like, oh, Mozart aria, and, oh yeah, Queen of the Night. That's yes, what we go for. Yes, exactly. Um, mm -hmm. So you did this show back in 2019. Um, were, you, were you in the production in Illinois? No. no. Oh, no. Okay, no. okay. Mm -hmm. all right. So this is your second time yes, around with this. Mm -hmm. So how has this 
this revival version of the show been different for you from the very from the first time around? It is easier because you yeah. know what to expect. The set right. is you know virtually the same. We made a few tweaks here and there, mm -hmm. of course, uh, but there were no surprises. I you know remember the athleticism, you know, like a lot of you know actors do for big, like you know how Hugh Jackman bulked up for Wolverine. <laughs> I bulked up for the Queen of the Night, but you know not really. But you know just preparing myself for how much movement is involved, sure. straddling those pipes. So it is good to be prepared. Prepared, right. And to have that kind of ace in my pocket because I've done it before. Because as you'll see, um, the staging, of course, is not just like a you know Diana Domro Park and Bark sort of version of it. I wish. <laughs> like, <laughs> with her fantastic wig that she wears I in that production. Wish. Um, but this is very much this is a very physical, yes. moving all over the place yes. version of it. So it is very much a challenge, and you are just handling it with grace Thank and flair. You. And I, I have to say personally, I'm so excited for you to be able to hear Thank this in just you. a few minutes. Yeah. And what's interesting is. The platform you see is only about four feet wide, and that's not a lot of space. You know, right. I always think of the analogy in uh, Olympics um, and in professional gymnastics. I believe the balance beam is only uh, the width of a VHS tape. Yeah. For you kids out there, that's how we used to watch movies, or at least that's <laughs> my parents tell me how they used to watch movies. Um, so it's very, it's, it's four feet sounds like a lot, but it's, it's not. Yeah. And so it's kind of frightening. But as I said, Steroids. Huge She's up for the challenge. I'm ready. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, Michelle, thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate it. And we can't wait to hear you tackle that Mount Everest of soprano arias. It's going to be fun. Yeah. Stay tuned, everybody. Mm -hmm. <laughs>
Greetings, Banana Brethren. I declare today's assembly one of the most important of our time. The Princess Pamina has been designated by the programmers for the noble Prince Tamino. Therefore, I have torn her from the side of her barrel-busting mother who wishes to destroy our peaceful nation, our Banana Republic. <laughs> In order to secure our destiny, we must teach Tamino the tenets of the Triforce. Power! Wisdom! And courage. You may bring them in. That was fast. I have come to free Tamina! And you shall. But first, you must begin with level one of the castle trials. Are you willing to undergo each test on the path to power, wisdom, and courage? I am. Will you uphold the vow of silence? <laughs> he, he means with Pamina. Mm. Oh, right. Then yes. Very well. He is ready. Will Tamino be able to contend with every ordeal that awaits him? He should. He still has two and a half hearts left. Oh, well, that's very convenient. That actually reminds Noble me. Noble Prince! You will be led through a bunch of trials. <laughs> <laughs> Things may go bananas once you begin. <laughs> Keep your eyes Healed for danger. <laughs> oh, 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 never split from your partner. <laughs> Low hanging fruit. Okay, okay. Okay. We get it. <laughs> we get it, we get it. Talk about having a monkey on your back. <laughs>
You are now ready to embark on your quest. A. In order to continue on your a. journey, under no circumstances, a. watch out for danger. A. Make good for a. Wait, 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 wait! What were they saying? I don't know. I just said a a bunch, and I skipped all that. You know, it works most every time. Otherwise, these guys can kind of ramble on, and they hold up the flow. Don't you think it, it might have been helpful to hear them out this time? Perhaps. Ask them to repeat it. Okay. Excuse me. How can we help you, princely elf? Yes, sir. What was it that you just said? May good fortune be no. with you. W what about before that? Watch out for dangers that surround uh, this you. This really isn't helpful at all. Oh, wait. I have an idea. You will now begin level one of the castle trials. You are now ready to embark on your quest towards the final prize. In order to continue on your journey, you must agree to risk your very lives. Under no circumstances will you be allowed to return past this point if you do not agree. To agree, select B. If you wish to give up and go at it alone, select A. A! <laughs> Okay, okay, okay! B! You have chosen wisely. Great rewards await you both. You shall have the true desires of your hearts if you survive the trials. Tamino, Tamino will be your prize. Yes! And, and what do you got for me, huh? A nice spicy bowl of mushrooms? For your final prize, Zorostro Kong has chosen a beautiful princess. Oh, hey. A princess, eh? Oh, does she have blonde hair, blue eyes, and wear a pink dress? With frills! Oh, so promising! What's her name? Papagena. Papagena. Does she have a last name? Peach. Papagena Peach. Okay, I'm in. Let's go! You will see Papagena in level two. And you will see Pamina. But you must remain silent under pain, pain of death. death. From here on, should you perish, you will always return to this point. Beware of lives that be to nowhere. The first escape is seldom best. So double check. No, 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 don't touch that! Nothing could be dumber. 
Why risk your life with this fat plumber? I've been big since I was young. A potato on your tongue. If a single word is spoken, then us all of ours is broken. You heard yourself, this is our end. Ease be silent now, my friend. I'll be quiet, I'll be quiet, 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 quiet. What's that? The queen herself is here. Quiet, quiet. Please be still. You have sworn an oath of silence. Don't make me resort to violence. Tell me no God or love and glory. If you, the queen, do not obey, from her on this earth the story, that you'll die this very day. I will not listen. Go away. I'll let my cards fall where they may. Please go away. Tell me, tell me, no. Is it true? Remember what Sir Astro said. Through many trials you will be led. Yes, but the queen has ordered you. Be quiet, let me think it through. I've made my choice, the answer's clear. Speak not a word and have no fear. So My mouth is shut, but I cannot resist and pay. But you cannot resist and pay. Although I want to bend desperately, then say goodbye to your salvation. You seal your fate and time you leave. We say goodbye to our salvation. We say goodbye to our salvation. We seal our fate and time. You seen his mustache? It's a peach fox! <laughs> all of them, they all have lovers, Prince and Plumber, why not me? Why am I not like the others? No one ever chooses me, no one ever chooses me. Why should I? I'm as handsome as can be. I'm as handsome as can be. Far more handsome than that plumber. That is plain for all to see. That is plain for all to see. That is plain for all to see. <laughs> Such a 
tasty sweet temptation You're a treat I can't resist I am done with this flirtation I'm a gun to steal a kiss I'm a gun to steal a kiss We're alone No one to save you Just surrender and give in Just surrender and give in Mark my words, I will enslave you At last I'm gonna win At last I'm gonna win At last I'm gonna win Yeah! <laughs> Welcome to me, Nostra Dosland <laughs> Get out of here, you cheap Mario Markov <laughs> 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 This never happens to me, I promise it. <laughs> yes, Queen, yes! Mother, Paulina, are you hurt? No, Mama. Oh. Sarastro Kong is evil. You must use this dagger to kill him so that he may never again topple anyone else with his enormous, um, barrels. <laughs> but mother, <laughs> quiet! <laughs> Thank you.
make it thank you, my princess. For just the one kiss I could make, all your troubles go away. Leave her alone. But, sir, I was just trying to help. They were attempting guerrilla warfare. Get out. <laughs> I know everything. I'm so confused. I don't know what to believe. My mother wants me to kill you, but you seem like a great ape. Father. <laughs> you can call me 
Daddy Kong. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Daddy Kong. <laughs> But wait, I still don't understand why you and my mother hate each other so much. Oh, it's okay. No one ever does in this show. <laughs> Level two. You may now continue on your journey. And <laughs> what? Sorry. Try force of habit. <laughs> Excuse me. Which direction? That way. <laughs> I can't go that way. <laughs> I'm sure you can. Watch this. No, 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 no. See, no big deal. Let me try. Here we go. What? What? You see? Yes. That is certainly strange. Perhaps it's because I'm from the nether region. Remember, from... you must uphold your vow of silence under pain of death. Surely we can talk to each other. No. Shh. <laughs> Whoa! Has that old lady been here this whole time? Oh, maybe she can help us. No, 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 Do you have any, uh, helpful information for us? Yes, I do, cutie pie. Well, what is it? Press my buttons, <gasps> and I'll tell you. Mamma mia! <laughs> <sighs> I think I'm a press. No, no, no. no, no. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Your destiny stands in front of you. Oh, that's nice. What about B? Oh, B is for boyfriend. Do you know my boyfriend? Um, no. What does he look like? He wears overalls and a hat. Oh, that's my brother. <laughs> no, 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 no. A red hat. Oh, well. What is his name? Hop again. Hop, hop, hop. Can you repeat that? Hop again. Hey. Hop again. Hey. 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 Once more we three are here. 
you. Hush. You must hush. Where's my wallet? Hush. Hush. You must hush.
Camino. <laughs> Thus far, your progress has been very fruitful. Success is ripe for the picking. Okay, okay. It's time to tell you that you are able to move on to level three of the trials. It is here that you will make feast. It, it, it is here that you will face your most difficult trial yet. You will speak to Pamina, but only to bid her a final farewell. I couldn't. You uh. must. <laughs> It's almost done, you must take heart. Your quest is nearly not so hurry. My dear Slav, you need not worry. Your quest is nearly not so hurry. My dear Slav, you need not worry. Is set, I must go there. If you did love, as I do love you, your grief were equal to my own. You would not leave me all alone. I need a bigger heart container for all the love that you have shown. I must depart. But our princess is in another castle. <laughs> I don't even care about that anymore. At this point, I'd be content just to have a nice bowl of mushroom stew. You have no other wish? No. Then you shall have it. Delicious! Perfect! 
I'm a feel amazing. Like I could fly. Even without a raccoon suit. I'd give up my last mushroom to find a pretty wife. I'd be the perfect bridegroom. We'd share a happy life. We'd share a happy life. We'd share a happy life. And happily then ever after, we'd fill up each level with laughter. We'll live up a very long time. Our at the sky heaven cloud nine. We'll fill up each level with laughter. We'll live up a very long time. Our at the sky heaven cloud nine. Sky heaven cloud nine. Sky heaven cloud nine. I'd give up every coin I own to find my pretty peach. I've looked through every land, no, she's always just out of reach. She's always just out of reach. She's always just out of reach. There's nothing but men all around me. This shortage of women astounds me. I've searched all the world for a bride. I've tried and I've tried and I've tried. This shortage of women astounds me. I've searched all the world for a bride. I've tried and I've tried and I've tried. I've tried and I've tried. It's true. I've tried and I've tried. I'd even shave my mustache to please my bunny bride. That's mushrooms, bristles, and cash to have her at my side. To have her at my side. To have her at my side. I won't stop, I won't sleep, I won't quit. Till I find my princess of eight bits And I will be peachy and keen When I find my pretty pink queen And all will be peachy and keen And all will be peachy and keen When I find my pretty pink queen My pretty pink queen my pretty pink queen. Forever? 
No more Mushroom Mondays at Toadstool Tavern? No. Okay. I guess I'll marry you. Do you swear it? I'm a swear it. Be gone, woman. You're not supposed to reveal yourself until level four. <laughs> Oh, I 
hearts that beat as one together. The storms of life will save me weather. They fear no danger, no danger, my life. They fear no danger, my life.
Since my design can not restrain me by chattering, chattering, I lost my way, and for this crime I have to pay, for this crime I have to pay. Since I first saw her lovely face, I can't forget, I can't erase those big blue eyes, that golden hair, her skin so fair, she's everywhere. Papagena, no more stalling, Papagena, hear me calling. No more hope, no point in trying, living stinks, let's try some dying. Since my love was all in vain, I shall die to end my pain. Off a tree I will be leaping. My death I'm slowly creeping Thus to life I say goodbye Well, good night, I'm ready to die For I was too harshly treated All my hopes have been defeated Very soon I'll cease to be Pretty princess, think of me Pretty princess, think of me Will not someone show compassion? Must I die in such a fashion? What is once I wait and see? Just reply, choose A or B. Just reply, choose A or B. No one answers. All is quiet. No one has selected. Then I jump as I've elected. Papa Gaino, go ahead. Take the plunge and you are dead. Papa Gaino, go Star keep pulling, bring my princess here. Super 
Open star, keep twinkling. Bring my princess here. Bring her here. My princess here. My sweetheart here.
And it appears that the princess was not in another castle. Love and honor win the day on Mozart's The Magic Flute, or Super Flute, as we call it here at Pacific Opera Project. Thank you so much for tuning in this afternoon for this incredible performance of one of the most beloved operas of all time, done in a completely different way, probably a way you've never seen it before. Now. Do you need more super flute in your life? Well, you can find us on our social media channels. We are at Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Plus, you can also go behind the scenes of everything that goes on with the productions we do here at POP through our in-house podcast called Poppercast. You can find that, well, wherever you get your podcasts.
Now there's more coming up in the future here at POP. Up next for us, opening May 19th, is Gilbert and Sullivan's The Pirates of Penzance, a very special outdoor production. You can learn more about that and secure your place on board the pirate ship at PacificOperaProject.com. A big thanks to my friend Phil Pritchard, who has been behind the camera this afternoon, and to Rob Webb for being the most amazing producer ever. I'm Jennifer Miller-Hamill, and thank you so much for joining us this afternoon for Superflute. Yeah!